there, how's it going? Welcome to Aruba. I'm going to give a, a quick uh, room tour here. Small little room, AC, double bed, free Wi-Fi, attached bathroom. Simple, but it is nice and cheap. It is just $40 per night. Now, uh, it is currently low season, as I understand it. It is early May, and apparently the uh, high season for Aruba is during the winter when Canadians and uh, Americans and Europeans are escaping the uh, winter. I checked the prices for this place in January. It was just a little bit more expensive. It was like $50 per night, including all taxes, so a great deal. However, keep in mind that this is in Oranjestad, the uh, main city here on Aruba, and the best beaches in most of the hotels are northwest of here. It is called the Hotel Area, and that is where the uh, beaches are really spectacular. It is several miles away, depending on which uh, beach you go to. I'm going to head in that direction in just a couple of minutes and uh, get out of this room, show you a bit of Aranyastad, the uh, town here, and then catch a bus going up to the uh, beaches and uh, go find a spectacular beach here on Aruba. And so let's get out of this uh, room here and show you more of this amazing Caribbean tropical island paradise. Here we go. So there is the bicycle that is just outside of my room, and I thought that I would show the uh, pool here. Don't get your hopes up too much. Here it is. It's more like a uh, jacuzzi. But at least a uh, little area here to uh, lounge around. And I wanted to show where I'm going. So here is the uh, map of Aruba. I am here, and I'm going up there. If the uh, bus goes all the way there, I think that it does, to a uh, nice, a uh, little bit uh, less popular beach. And there is the whole island of Aruba, so it is small but not uh, tiny. That is about uh, 13 kilometers from there up to there. Yesterday I went to the uh, main beach, it is called Palm Beach. It is a long stretch of beautiful beach, like uh, two kilometers long. That is where many of the main hotels are, the uh, like Marriott and Hyatt and Hilton and stuff like that. But today I'm going to go to a uh, less uh, popular beach. Also, wanted to show the uh, temperatures it is 86 degrees Fahrenheit and a little bit cloudy as you can see it would be hotter otherwise apparently the uh, weather here is kind of consistently warm of course very humid often cloudy but not very rainy it is actually very uh, dry and so it is very reliably warm and sunny and it is also outside of the uh, hurricane belt and so it doesn't get hit by hurricanes so that's great all right let's get out of here and so it is called Pistacu hostel and apartment And this is Oranjestad. The center of the uh, town is out this way. I'm going to walk down there and go find the uh, bus out to the beaches. So we have here El Gaucho Argentine Grill. This restaurant is actually owned by the uh, same people that own the uh, Pistacu Hotel where I'm staying. Lunch special menu. It's a uh, full meal including a appetizer, entree, and dessert. So that is $26.75 US dollars plus service charge. And here it says AWG 4788 plus service charge. And so that is the local currency. And notice it says taxes included. And so they have a uh, local currency. It is called the Florin, but I think it is also called the Yonder. So it's a little bit confusing. But, uh, they use both the US dollar and the local currency and it seems like basically everywhere you can use either one. Like most of the businesses I guess will uh, accept either one and so I've just been using uh, US dollars so far and it is a fair rate between the two. Apparently there isn't any advantage to using one or the other. And so today is my uh, second day on the island and so I am uh, just learning about uh, this island and uh, this part of the Caribbean. This is my first time here, my first time to the Caribbean properly at all. Definitely some interesting, worn down looking uh, buildings around here. This one is definitely seeing better times. And so Aruba here, is technically part of the Netherlands. It is kind of semi-autonomous, but it is not a separate country. And so like, uh, I'm not going to count it as a, uh, another country that I've been to because it is really uh, part of the Netherlands, the kingdom of the Netherlands. 
and the local native language here is called Papiamentu. And it is a Creole language that is a mix of Spanish, Portuguese, and Dutch because of the Dutch influence. Aruba is one of the ABC islands they are called, which includes Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, which are all uh, nearby. And then there are some other islands in the area that are also part of the uh, Netherlands, and they make up what is called the Dutch Caribbean. And so speaking of Spanish, we have here Que Pasa restaurant in Spanish. That basically means like, what's up? What's going on? How's it going? Here we have some prices. And so to the best of my understanding, these are in US dollars, not in the Aruban Florin. And so a tomato soup for $6, onion soup, $7, bouillia base, $9, tapas platter, $24, fish platter, $24, main dishes, farmer's schnitzel, 24 bucks, kangaroo tenderloin, interesting, with smoked shallot sauce, arugula, mash, and green asparagus, 29 bucks, mixed grill, $28, tenderloin steak, $28, braised neck of lamb, 34 bucks, and so you get the uh, idea there that Aruba is not cheap, it is very, very expensive actually, despite the good deal on the uh, room that I got there. But you will find, if you're looking for rooms closer to the beaches, then they're going to be very expensive. You can find some okay deals. I was looking around and there are some rooms for like $60 or so up by the beaches. But you'll find that most of the uh, rooms, especially if you want a room where you just walk out of the room and you know, two minutes to the beach or whatever, then they're going to be uh, quite expensive, very comparable to Hawaii or Florida or whatever. And so this is Aranyastad getting into the uh, center of the town here. And here you have Deli Mar Peruvian restaurant. Peru is actually not all that far away. Starters, $8 for starters. Fish and seafood, 19 bucks. Salmon, $22. Chicken, 15 bucks. Traditional Peruvian dishes, $15. Rice and pasta, 22 bucks for a uh, basic uh, rice and seafood mix with bell peppers. Now, that does include taxes. However, as it mentioned on that uh, other menu there, then there is often a service charge tacked onto the bill. It is basically a mandatory tip and it will vary and not every restaurant includes it. I ate at a uh, restaurant right by the beach yesterday and there was no service charge added onto that bill. But I ate at a uh, restaurant right over here somewhere, a Cuban restaurant, and I will mention what I got. It was really good. It was a special. It was like a classic Cuban meal of rice and beans, fish, fried plantains and steamed vegetables and it was $20 but that was a special price so I'm not sure what the uh, normal price was the uh, prices of other things on the menu were higher than that and then I had two beers and the uh, total price was $34.11 and that included the service charge and so you don't have to tip on top of the service charge but if there is no service charge then you do need to tip typical for america same uh, like 15 to 20 percent or so and the bus stop is straight up ahead here going to just uh, hop on the bus and get out of the uh, town here it is heating up now with the uh, sun shining down Now the uh, central bus station is right there, but one thing that I really want to find out today is how expensive are uh, rental cars? I've heard that they are relatively affordable, like 30 bucks a day or something. And so I'm going to uh, walk over here on this uh, busier road and see if I can find a, a rental car agency and at least uh, figure out the uh, prices. I'm not going to rent one today, but I plan to rent one for a couple of days while I'm here. I'm here for a week. So I will be showing more of the island in future videos. This is just a kind of 
how expensive showing the uh, prices and giving a little taste of the uh, main town and a, a nice beach and so the uh, Caribbean Sea is right over there and up this way is the uh, hotel area with all the nice beaches and then if you really want to explore the island properly you'll pretty much need a rental car to get into the interior where it is like desert landscapes apparently and hiking and stuff so looking forward to seeing more of this island so here's an ATM. I'm going to withdraw some money, find out if there's a uh, fee for withdrawal. What do you recommend? Is it dollar better or florin? You will see a lot time here. It's better uh, uh, to read, but if you win, when you win back? In one week. Oh, okay, you can take a florin. Florin is good? Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks. And so I got uh, $400 US. I decided I might as well just get the uh, US dollar and that way I don't have to change back uh, once I leave. I'm going to Curacao next in a week. And there was a $5 charge for using the ATM. All right, rental car company. All right, so this is the bus stop at the uh, central bus station in Oranjestad. And I think that is going to be the uh, bus going out to the beaches. So I'm just going to hop on it and uh, figure out the rental car situation later. It's three dollars for the bus. And I got 50 cents florin back. He didn't do that yesterday. I didn't get any change. So a little less than three bucks, I guess. a 20 minute bus ride and the buses run like every 15 minutes they just go every 15 20 minutes something like that that water What am I doing to uh, make sure that my stuff doesn't get stolen? Croquets, $2. Pastecci, $2. French fries, 5 bucks. 
Chicken wings, ten dollars. Calamari wings, ten dollars. Hot dog, it's all five dollars for hot dog. Crab salad sandwich, tuna salad sandwich, chicken salad, hamburger, vegetable, seven dollars. El Presidente here. Tuna salad sandwich and fries. So fries for five bucks. Tuna sandwich, five bucks. Beer, eight dollars. And that is US dollars. Eighteen bucks. And check out this place. This is the former house of Frederico Maximilian Arens. It was an urban villa constructed in 1936 by Dada Picus. Now the funny thing is it says restored in 2016. It doesn't exactly look restored. And so uh, I also wanted to mention that I uh, looked about uh, rental cars and I guess there aren't actually any rental car companies in uh, Oranjestad here. They're all out of the airport or else out of the uh, hotel area. And so I called Dollar Rent-A-Car and they said that the uh, typical price for the uh, rental car per day was $36.50. And then if you wanted the uh, extra insurance, it was an extra $8 per day. And so that is 44 bucks per day. And so that isn't so bad compared to like the US or whatever. It's a little more reasonable at least. Maybe there are some better deals. That was just one company that I called. So, uh... so I came to the uh, Gaucho restaurant, the Argentinian restaurant that is right down the uh, street from where I'm staying. And I was not prepared for the prices of things. Appetizers, 15, 14, 15, 50, 14, 50, 16 dollars for grilled calf sweetbreads, salads, $15, $7 for a mixed side salad, $17.50 for classic Caesar salad with shrimps, and check out these prices here, holy moly, the gaucho steak, 45 bucks, Argentine grill, $43, ribeye steak, $42.50, Bone in ribeye, fifty-two seventy, and this is the U.S. dollar, not the local Aruban uh, florent. I'm pretty sure, and so whoa, and I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Something small. I think the empanadas. Empanadas. empanadas yeah. Sautéed broccoli and garlic. And that, that's gonna be. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. And there we go. Empanadas for ten dollars. That's it right there. And broccoli with garlic for five dollars. Yes. And so with the uh, service charge, then we're going to be looking at like almost 20 bucks for this right here. And so the empanadas are filled with beef, you can see there, and some spices and I think some vegetables in there. It's really quite good. And the broccoli is tasty and so it's actually a fairly uh, substantial meal here. And here's the bill. Let's check it out. 1050, 550, subtotal $16 and 15% service charge. 240, and so the grand total is $18.40. That is, in fact, US dollars. I'll round it up to $19. You can see there, KWG 3294, and so that is the Aruban Florent. 33 Aruban Florent. So, Basically 19 bucks for two empanadas and some broccoli. Excuse me. Wait. All right, see ya. We're coming from Aruba.